morning guys, it's Saving Money with Jazzy. How are you guys doing this morning? So, I'm on my way to work. I hate working on Saturday, I'm so tired. Um, but we do get off early, so it's a good thing. So I'm on my way to, I woke up with the craving of McDonald's, I know. I do want to get me like a hot biscuit, sausage biscuit, but to strawberry jam. So I think I'm just gonna do a mukbang at McDonald's. How about that? So we're about to go right now. I'm about to get off the freeway um, and get to McDonald's, and then I'm gonna get me see what to order. So today's gonna be a, a long day for me. Um, so I do work today. Get off. Um, it's today's the day that we're gonna go Christmas shopping. Um, so I have my Isaac at my mom and dad's house, and then um, Ryan's with Mia. So I'm gonna try to do as much as I can. Um, since I have no one with me, so it's better because then Mia won't see what she's getting at the same time. So yeah, the, don't you guys hate traffic? Like, oh gosh, or like when they're building on the freeway, the construction for years. I swear it's like years. Can't stand it. But anyways, uh, so sorry about that. So a little update on Isaac. Um, so after all that happened, guys, he did go to. He went to daycare and he did apologize um, to the teacher, um, and everything's all good now. And then, um, so he still hasn't got his phone. Um, I don't think he'll get it anytime soon, you know, because um, he just need it. He doesn't need it right now. So, but, and then I asked him, you know. And he told me, he was like, Mom, I was like the first one. He was like, I was there waiting for the bus before the bus got there. I was like, good. Because I told him, if your daycare's going to charge me fees because they have to wait for you, well, you're paying for those fees. And then if you have to pawn your PS4 to be able to pay for that, then that's what you're going to do. And look how, well, look what happened. A miracle. I swear, the PS4 is like his whole life. It just drives me nuts. Okay, so I'm going to McDonald's, so I'm not, let's see, I know I want a soda. Hi, what can I get for you today? Hi, can I get a large Coke? A large Coke? Yeah, and can I get a sausage, or let me see, hold on one second. Sorry, you said sausage muffin? No, a sausage, egg and cheese, um, biscuit. Oh, biscuit, okay. Yeah, and then, um, a oatmeal? Oatmeal, all right. Let's see what else. And also a McGriddle sausage, egg, and cheese. Okay. And that's everything. All right, second one. That's going to be 11.32. Thank you. Welcome. Am I being a fat ass? I'm pregnant. It's okay. Oh, my gosh. I just want that. I just want to eat it. I have to get in my belly. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna... oh, Gosh, I'm tired. Sorry, guys. But yeah, that's what I want to do. And then we had a Christmas party for our work, and um, they gave us uh, gift cards for Walmart. So that's cool because I'm gonna go do some Christmas shopping at Walmart as well. So that would help out. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can I get some um, strawberry jam? Strawberry jam? Yeah. I'm so proud! Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. I am so happy. I want to eat so bad. And I'm like, God, I will be late for work. <gasps> Where I must eat. It's very important. And I'm tired and I need to wake it up. I don't know. I've never been a morning person. I, think, I don't think ever. Ever, 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 ever been a morning person. I can sleep all day.
I can still be tired. <laughs> so, you know what's crazy to me? I was thinking about this the other day, like, have you ever had those moments when you meet people and they, you know, they, actually it's happened to me a lot, you know, I don't know if that was my gift that I was given, that God gave me was to be like a, a people person, like a, someone that can get someone to open up quickly about their life, you know what I mean, and be comfortable to talk to me about anything, you know what I mean, and I feel like that happens a lot with people I, read, I meet, that I, I get to like know a lot about them like within the first couple hours you know and it's just crazy to me because I wonder if that's because I can either help them like if they're drawn to me for a reason because maybe they're going through something or maybe I can help them out as far as like relating to me by situation I can be like well look I did this and this helped me out in that situation you know what I mean and it's just crazy to see it like fold out because it's like it's people that you know you might have not got along with and got for like bad first impressions about and judge them before you knew them type of situations you know what i mean and mostly me, they judge me first you know without getting to know me you know because i don't know i guess that's just normal but you know it it, it happens a lot, you know what I mean? Like, I, I worked at Walmart for a lot, a lot of years, like, four years, almost five. And you run into a bunch of different people working at some place like that. And I would, I would, I met so many people, like, it was just, like, I'll never take it back, you know what I mean? I loved working there, and I think that was why I, would, I, I stayed, you know? First, my friends, you know, like, friends I, you know build a relationship with, you know what I mean, like my friend Nona, CC, shout out, Sammy, Sifa, all my little friends over there, you know what I mean, like I build relationships with, so that kind of like hold me there for a minute as well, because I didn't want to leave them, and also I was just like, you know what, it was just the management, it's crazy, because it's like every month there's a new manager, like it's promoted, they want to come in and be big headed about their position, and they want to change the world, and be president and I'm just like I hate that kind of person because they come in and they're like we're going to change this and this is going to be different and blah 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 honey nothing changes nothing and at that time there was a one particular management manager that came and she came in full blaze like don't this is what I'm um, about and I'm going to change this and no one's going to you know pull some over me blah 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 and piss me off really to be honest because you want to come into an environment and you want people to like you especially if you're new and no one knows you and this is your first time doing a Walmart and video. huh my brother's here the heck I was trying to show you guys my brother but my phone freaking I must have hit the button but in case my mom stayed home, which is nice because she had a, she got her, pulled, her tooth pulled out yesterday, so I wouldn't want her to come to work today neither. So anyways, like I was saying, so that one particular manager came in, you know, she had came from a Sam's Club, so it's totally different between Sam and Walmart, the way they run things, because Sam's Club is like a whole, like a whole food store, like it's a whole, it's like a Costco, it's huge, you know what I mean? So, um... Going from Sam to Costco is a big, you know, a big difference because Walmart it's structured. You have we have department managers, we have co-managers, assistant managers, store manager. There's like all kinds of stuff you have to take care of. You know, you have a whole back room to take care of, a whole area. In Sam's Club, it's just like one whole store. So I'm assuming everyone takes care of one area. There's not different areas. There's not like sporting goods, garden center. Like it doesn't split like Walmart does. You know what I mean? And then we just go. We do things differently. So for her to come in and be like, oh, I got this, blah, blah, blah. Didn't work for her because what happens is like one thing you don't want to do, especially at my store. Like my store is very known as like the store. If you can't make it there, you won't be able to make it anywhere in Walmart. So that store is really hard, you know, because we're located downtown. So it's like rough anyways. The people that come in there. Um... 
So it's rough. So then you'd see different things, you know what I mean? But she was just rude about it. Like, she carried herself so rude. Like, entitled. <clears throat> and I don't like those kind of people because why? What, what's all the extra? You know, and like, I tried to get along with her. But she was the type of person that would... She liked to look good in front of, like, the bigger bosses, you know what I mean? So she would, like, tell us what to do because I was the department manager at that time. So she would assign us projects in our area. And, or we would come up with an idea and she would go behind our, our back and be like, oh, I told her to do it that way. Like, taking the credit. And it would, when I found out she did that, it pissed me off. Like, I confronted her because that's just how I am. I don't like shit just hanging there. You know there's something going on, you know? And I was like, no, I did that. That was my idea. She was not even around. And that was my idea. You know what I mean? So it's like, Walmart is like, he's very creative. Like, you got to be able to do things without having to grab a manager, you know. Because when you're a department manager, that's your area. Like, you are the manager of that area. And you have to be able to, like, come up with new ideas, how to sell merchandise, you know, do those things. And that, and that was a hard area for me. Because I didn't really do well with like how to set them up and how to like what will be better you know with this and this and what will sell together like a bucket and a lid like you know what I mean it was just hard so I was still trying to like fix whatever was broken in my area like trying to get the back room fixed and then fix little things here here and there and like what happens is how it works is the store managers pressures the co-managers the co-managers pressure the assistant managers and the assistant managers pressure us the apartment managers so it's just a chain, and I feel like it happens with everybody. I just welcome my girl's mom. I need to remember my girl, egg and cheese, guys. So, yeah, that's what, that's how I felt about it. I just got sick of it because I was just like, is it even worth it? Like, it might even, it makes you feel like a little person like this. Like, you're helping her get to where she wants to go instead of her helping you succeed in your department. So, I chose to leave, like, after four years at Walmart, you know what I mean? That's a long time. But I always told myself, if I can't find a job, you know what I mean? You know, that I'm okay with, I'm going back to Walmart. You know, that's the one thing I can always say. I, will, I see myself being at Walmart again, but I just don't know when. Cause I know I'll go back. But I miss the people, really. And I feel like I defeated myself because I let her win. Out of spite, I left. Because I was mad, you know, and I shouldn't have done that. But yeah, anyways, life goes on, people. So, what do you guys like to eat at McDonald's? I like in the morning time, I like the McGriddle sauce, egg and cheese, because it has like a pancake thing. Um, a biscuit, I like the biscuit, because I put the jelly on there, it's bomb. And the oatmeal's good too. Usually when I go eat lunch there, I usually get like um, a McDouble with Big Mac sauce. I love Big Mac sauce. Or Big Mac, you know, but Big Mac doesn't really satisfy me as much. I always gotta get something else. Oh yeah, I'm at work, I'm gonna be late, so, I'll talk to you guys on Monday, alright, and then, on the next, uh, ride chit chat, right, well this is my little mukbang for McDonald's, see you guys, have a good